Hi, Minesh Bakshi here and welcome. I have another wonderful guest with me today. And if you are living in Troy, you might be aware of this person. And here is the key for me. I want to educate my audience. I want to get people involved and engaged in a way that they can make the best choice for their community. And they need to be involved in community and we'll be talking more about that with my good friend here, Sunil Sivraman. So Neil, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Minesh. Thank you for this opportunity to meet with our uh, the citizens of Troy. Exactly. Well, thank you. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Sunil, so this is pretty informal. This sure. is not like a gacha debate or any of this kind <laughs> okay. of stuff. This is just introducing you. My goal is to inform people in the local community about people who are making things happen, mm -hmm. whether they are in business, politics, and so on and so forth. So Sunil, I know people would want to know about your background, about right. your family, and a couple of issues that are most important to you, why you are running for Troy City Council. So go ahead, just start with, tell us a little bit about your background. Obviously your accent is from Troy, Michigan, I would assume. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes, I am Sunil, Sunil Shivram, and uh, I work for Ford Motor Company. I've been working for Ford Motor Company for 24 years, so I have a day job. And this is all volunteering for me. That's number one. I'm married with two wonderful kids who go through our Troy schools. And uh, so to me, our community, our neighborhoods are of utmost importance. The other thing, which is probably my first and clear, uh, uh, topmost priority for the city of Troy, given what's been happening uh, in the city of Troy, is to provide a clean, transparent, and efficient government. Now, you would ask me, what is clean, what is transparency, and what does efficiency <laughs> mean? Of course, I mean, you hear these words from everybody. So clean means I'm not an insider, I'm coming with zero baggage. Um, transparent means I come from a heavy IT audit background, so I've been taught to read between the lines. And I will read between the lines, it's always between the fine print. To me, transparency is, I need to know, as a citizen of Troy, I need to know how much should I pay for asphalt? How much does the city of Troy pay for asphalt? Why can't we make it public? Why can't we put online our propose uh, the the, pe the people who provide services for us and the cost and why that particular supplier was chosen and who are the principles of that supplier? So I'm I'm that's to me true transparency. Well, I agree, and I yeah. think that's a good point. I would always want to know as a taxpayer. Right. Where is my money going? Correct. Because Correct. I'm sorry, but <laughs> maybe whatever my background in India has been as well, <laughs> I'm skeptical of politicians, <laughs> you know, taking money and not telling you where it goes, right? right. So let's talk a little bit about your background. You came sure. from India, right? Yes, of course. Which uh, part of India are you from, Sunil? I'm, I'm from South India, a tiny place called Kerala. It's uh, <laughs> it's not that <laughs> tiny in my mind. <laughs> it's it's called, a beautiful place it for backwaters. It's, of, it is. Yes. And uh, that that's where my passion for green space came in. Yeah, from. it's one of the most popular places it for is, that. It mm -hmm. is. Kerala is called God's own country mm -hmm. in India. This is especially because of the greenery, the houseboats, the waterways that we have. Sure. It's... it's it's home. It's home. But now I may try my home. Correct. Because I've been here in the United States for the last 28 years. Okay. Um, and I did my master's in, in computer science here. Okay. I've got a bachelor's in computer mm -hmm. engineering from India. And for the last 24 years, as I mentioned, I've been at Ford Motor Company. Um, so t I love green space. I mean, what, that's one of the reasons we made Troy a home. And you, are, you have children, you are married, right? You're yeah, married, yes. your wife is? Uh, my wife's a physician. Physician, okay. And uh, yes, um, we, we love spending our times in our parks. So somebody asked me last time when I was running, hey, what's your favorite thing to do on a Saturday evening? I said, take the bikes and go out to Bolan Park. Yeah, and it's if a beautiful it's, place. If it's a b beautiful day, if not, we go to the Pontiac Soup Kitchen. That's where we help out. Wow, that's so good. We try, we try I'm to glad help you're out helping community. out a lot. And Bolan Park has been the place that uh, my children used to go as well. Uh -huh. We would play tennis, yes. exactly. Yeah. Uh, that uh, small area with the, what do you call the children's playground. Right. My son would love to go there when he was young. True. He would make some friends there and he would like, Papa, I make some friends today. You know, he would be excited about it. Yeah. And frankly, Troy community has been very diverse. Yes. For the time I'm, I'm you came, yeah. 
I mean, mm-hmm. there was not a whole lot of diversity in terms of Indians, Chinese, Certainly. and other right. people. Right, right, right. Uh, but right. today it's very different. Correct. And I think the that uh, influx has been very interesting to watch. We never had Indian restaurants around, and now we have so many. Indian so many of them that <laughs> it's hard to choose. And uh, let me clarify on one more thing. Yes. I, I, everybody mm-hmm. loves diversity, but what is true diversity? Correct. It's not just your caste, not your creed, Correct. not your sex, not your nationality, not your language. It is what do you bring? Correct. What diversity of thought? What do you really bring to the uh, table? What kind of solutioning? Exactly. And, and that to me is a real value at when we speak about diversity. Yeah, I believe in diversity of opinion. So we yes, can see the exactly. same thing from different angles. Uh-huh. And once you can see from different angles and appreciate it, then right. you can come up with a better solution than what one side was looking for. And I totally wouldn't have expected anything better from my friend Minesh, <laughs> who's an educator too, you know. <laughs> well, thank you. So let's talk a little bit about your involvement in the community. I know you've been on uh, different com- committees. Yes. Yeah. So tell uh, us a little bit about your background. Sure. sure. Uh, over the last three and a half years uh-huh. I've served on the Troy Youth Assistance Board I serve as a Mentor Plus a Programs Chair the Mentor Plus is a wonderful wonderful program where we are able to tie a mentee to a mentor hmm. here in our our backyard which sure. is Troy and uh, I'm going to take a second to pitch for Mentor Plus too if great. anybody wants to be a mentor mm-hmm. a man or woman wants to yeah. be a mentor please always reach out to me. And towards the end of this conversation, I'll uh, provide you all well, the Well, while details. we're on the topic, tell, uh-huh. us, tell us a little bit about what Mentor Plus is. So, okay. Because I really don't know, okay. frankly. Oh, good. That's a good segue into that. Okay. Uh, because uh, in Troy, yes. we, the Troy Youth Assistance is a board constitution. It, it, it is a part of the school board. Sure. Sorry, school department. We use the facilities and everything. Okay. But it's an independent organization. We have a social worker okay. who helps us out. What we do is we do, uh, we try to actually help kids in need. Yes. They get referred to us by, from multiple sources. They get referred to us from the police department, from okay. the schools, most of the time at schools, uh, or the juvenile system. Yeah. And we try to ensure they have a good mentor. Huh. Now, the job of the mentor is to uh, support and aid this child, not financially, sure. Okay. just uh, help them grow. Okay. They get to spend about an hour uh-huh. with the child and they get to take the child out of their home too. If okay. And they can spend the time, they can take them to ball games. We make a lot of avenues happen too. It's just to be an additional figure in the life of the child. And the child could be a boy or a girl. And in order to be a mentor, you have to qualify to, you have to go through an hour and a half interview with me and okay. a, a person from Oakland County. We run you through a, um, a ch- fingerprinting and check. all the background checks that we need to. And we talk to the parents of the child too. We share the details with them. And uh, I'm actually glad that last year I had an gen- Indian gentleman who's a mentor in Troy now. Very and good. It is. So, so are you looking for more mentors then? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And what? Generally, what are you looking for in a mentor? Usually, a commitment of an hour, hour and a half every week okay. to spend with the child. Now, of course, we all know we have vacations, holidays, yeah, and yeah, things like fine. that. Mm-hmm. But at that time, it's up to you as a mentor and a mentee to uh, come up to an agreement. So maybe one week you can do two hours, or if you're going to a ball game, it's three, four hours. So it's not a hard and fast rule. Correct. But and we we are here to help and guide both the mentors. The mentor pr- program. Interesting. And is there a certain age these people are in, like in terms of the mentee I'm talking about? No, th- it's whatever referral we get. It is whatever. But the mentee. Can. Yes, it okay. is whatever referral okay. we get. So, uh, yeah, it could be elementary school kids okay. to middle school to a high school child. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's a very good. Very interesting. So I think that's a great idea. It's like a big brother kind of. Program. It is like a big brother, a big sister kind of program. Yes. 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 I know. I was involved on the board of Boys and Girls Club oh, really? for a short time. And again, it's about helping create that helping. environment Correct. where people can come together, learn from each other, and provide. And I personally feel there's a lot of requirement for mentorship today. It is. It. it, it I mean, I'm true. a mentor as a coach myself right. in my business, uh-huh. and I mentor uh-huh. people a lot. And I need mentors for my own growth. So I think it's sure. part of the community that we can come together, help each other, and mm. find something that we can provide from our experience that the right. other person may not be getting from their experience. True. True. Exactly. True. So, so the other thing I yes. do for the mm-hmm. city of Troy is I yes. actually volunteer for the Troy's traffic committee. This is Troy traffic uh, committee. So yes. tell me more about that. Sounds uh, very I interesting. Know. I didn't know much about this at all. I'm learning quite a bit today. Sunil. Okay. Uh, real quick. Um, everybody hates traffic. Let me just start off with saying that. 
<laughs> I know. Especially these summer months because everything we only have these three months to get work done. <laughs> and then you got M dot working, you got county sure. crews working, and you got the city working. Correct. And you can only pour concrete during these three, four months. Correct. So every every um, uh, every road gets into trouble. Yes. Now, by the way, real quick announcement is that um, seventy five is going to be closed this weekend. Correct. From six ninety six all the way to Long Lake. Yes. So both ways. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough. <laughs> so don't get on <laughs> Stephen and, and John R. <laughs> those are going to be hard. Those are going to be hard. So yeah. traffic uh, controls, Correct. Uh, not controls, we make suggestions okay. as far as yield signs, stop signs, uh, things like that, uh -huh. traffic control signs mm -hmm. in neighborhoods. Sure. That's number one. We also give um, talk about sidewalks. Sure. We want to make Troy a side, completely a side, a sidewalkable yeah, yeah, I don't I even know agreement. whether that's a real word, sorry. But, but people walk can around. walk around without being concerned about being hit by the Correct. running Or take car your bike drive. and go. Oh, that's okay. bike too. Exactly. Yeah, you can do the bikes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree with you. So, so mm -hmm. uh, that's what we do. I mean, so you're giving suggestions, suggestions as a committee and stuff like that. Exactly. And people can approach us mm -hmm. and it's it's they can write to the city is the chief engineer who okay. is actually a member of it. We have a police department liaison and we have a fire department liaison okay. in it too. So it's quite an interesting work that we get done. And uh, the other thing is I also sit on the city's financial ideas team. I see. Yeah, it, it's well, quite interesting. You are very active. <laughs> I try. I look at myself and I'm like, I'm definitely very selfish. <laughs> so, see, I've not even started talking about my girls yet. Now, they are very pretty active in our community too. I know you told me about that. You have two daughters, right? I do. I have How two daughters. How old are daughters. they now? The one is 14 and one is 17. Wow. So I've got a freshman and I've got a senior at Troy High. And I've got my 84-year-old mom. Okay. So I live with four ladies. So... You I'm, said you were surrounded, surrounded by beautiful I women, know, and I there know. you are. <laughs> Your wish came true. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. So you no, said... Uh, my yeah, older daughter, when she was 15, yeah. um, she donated all her gifts to foster kids. Wow. All her birthday gifts. And um, we asked her why, and she said, Dad, Mom, I think you get us what we need, and I have pretty much everything I need. That's a good so, way to look at it. It is. And, uh, and, and when she was 16, she registered her organization, it's called Kids to Kids in MI, in Michigan, of course. And uh, what she does is she tries to help foster kids. And as you all know, foster kids are pr pretty much picked up from different avenues in life. It could be the police station, it could be school, it could be the hospital, with literally nothing on them. Wow. And we work with Foster Closets in Michigan. Uh, it's a registered nonprofit uh, organization, 501 CK or, um, C organization. We work, work with them. We basically take everything and donate to them. Wow. So they needed bicycles, and she came up with a unique idea, which was to uh, have a kite festival here, right here in our city of Troy. So every year it's an annual thing. July, August, we conduct a kite festival, and the proceeds. This is a time where people come in as a family, and you can fly a kite. It's, it's wow, that sounds like a great idea. This is where my diversity actually came in because I used to fly kites in when India. I was a kid in <laughs> India. It's a common, co very common thing in we India. We do that, right? Yeah, we go out in the beaches, we go out in the parks. Sure, it's a fun event, and. Uh, we just expanded it here, uh, brought it to Troy, and said, come out as a family, and every pro every single pro uh, cent out of the proceeds are going directly into the cl foster closet. Wow. Last year, we were able to raise 62 bicycles, 25 helmets, That's and $800 in cash. This year it is and this is just a seventeen-year-old girl here. Yes, she was sixteen wow. last 16 year. Sixteen last year, obviously, but you know that's the one yeah. you're talking about. I do about. want to say thank you for all the people who have helped sponsoring her events. I mean, you I can, think exactly. you, it's, it's it's awesome. It's not one person as well. It is. So wow, Sunil, what a pleasure! I mean, it's, it's been educational <laughs> for me. You're talking about different organizations, mm -hmm. different communities. Mm -hmm events and all the other stuff that so. you do. So I really appreciate you coming in, Thank you. educating Thank the you. people here about you, but also mm -hmm. some of the things they could be involved in because over sure. a time period, I think they'll That's be benefited, the community will be benefited true. as well. And uh, towards end, I just want to summarize, you know, I've told, I talked a lot about my family because I tend to do that yeah. and activities, but I just want all your viewers to know that I have top three priorities, three, maybe four, okay? One is changing the tone at the top. I'm a people leader at Ford Motor yeah, Company. So we may run short of time. So, okay. But yeah, but I think, quick. yeah, go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. The second one is about green development. That's a term I coined. I love the green space, but that doesn't mean we get rid of development. Sure. It's got to be a win-win solution for everybody. And the win-win has to be for the citizens of Troy. And the third is we all know an economical shut, uh, uh, slowdown is going to occur. 
which automatically means it could be a tax increase. And I'm going to fight every single tax increase. There are better, innovative ways of finding money. I've been at four too long. We have gone through a couple of um, um, very decisive years and very decisive action years. And I just want to leave you all with one parting word. Help me help you. On number <laughs> 5th, give me a vote. And you can reach me at www.votesunil.org. My cell phone number is 248-520-0699. Thank you. Thank you, Manish. You're welcome.